It's a binge. Come play. Sure. Okay, bye. The lady at the sandwich shop today was like, that'd be 420, love. Would you like it toasted? And I nodded and said, blaze it. And the guy working the sandwich toaster lost it. You're not fake simply because you act differently depending on the person you're with. Different personalities bring out different aspects of your personality. You're complex and multidimensional. It's beautiful. In anthropology, this is called code switching, and it is a completely natural thing that pretty much everyone does. AKA, it's this is called being an adult and learning how to interact with different groups of people. Aight? I've been cooking for myself for a decade, and I today, just now, for the very first time, found out the difference between virgin and regular olive. And that difference is important. Virgin has more flavor, better in salads, you know. And regular has a high burning point and is better used for cooking. I have burned so many dishes because I use virgin oil to cook when I used to have been using regular. God, you gotta stop sacrificing the virgins just for cooking. Well, excuse me for being on board the flavor train! Until I was 12, I was vegan because my parents were too. And one time in like my fifth grade science class, we had to draw pictures of carnivores, omnivores, herbivores, you get the idea. And like five kids drew a picture of me for herbivore. And that was the moment I realized I hated public school. King Arthur was supposed to arise when the world's need was greatest, so wakey wakey, someone knock on his tomb or something. Inside the flower company supplying America's sudden baking obsession. How King Arthur Flower found itself in the unlikely crosshairs of a pandemic. I hate fate rules. The only objective way to measure the quality of any character creation in games is, Can I make Waluigi in this? Wah. Wah never changes. Do you ever memorize a person's voice? Like you can construct a sentence in your mind that that person's never said, and yet you hear them say it. Is that a thing people can do? Yeah. There are people that can't do that? We are the chosen few. We have a great power. Beer. One of my favorite threats is you're not invited to my birthday party anymore. From ages 4 to 11, it's one of the most heinous things you could say. Then 12 through 17, it's just embarrassing, because teens think that is the most childish thing to say. But from 18 onward, it only gets more and more effective. If only because it confuses the person you're speaking to. It's like a verbal smoke bomb. It catches them off guard and disorients them to the point that they might not even know how to react. Street smarts! You know the thing where Red Pandas just laid down on a branch and let their legs hang out and they're just like vibing? They're just vibing, you know? Man, I want to be a Red Panda. I said to my little sister, gods don't die, and my brother ran up to me and whispered in my ear, some do, like he knew for sure. He's six. I'm so fucking frightened for my life. Update, I put him to bed and said goodnight, and he replied, it won't last. And I'm fully convinced he's far more powerful than any other human being. Hey, here's a fun fact for all my followers who follow me. Butter, ice cream, milk, and cheese all come from the same animal. I can't remember which animal it is right now, but I know for sure it's the same one. I'll give you a hint. It moose. Ah, thanks. Yeah, it was the moose. Kanye West, I'm running for president. All of us who have already gotten used to 2020's fuckery. You know those days when you're like, this might as well happen? A very intimidating middle-class family is staring me down at Panera Bread because I put mac and cheese on my baguette. Update! I told them that staring is rude and I would eat anything on this baguette, including their small child. I'm sorry, what? It's a cupcake. It's a cupcake. God damn it. There were no cases of autism before 1930. Yeah, Mount Everest wasn't discovered till 1856, but I'm sure the fucking mountain still existed. Replace every vowel in your URL with oob. Or even just your name. My roommate's name is Joanne, so her name is now Jaboobdanoob. And she's on the floor. Today I learned of the most famous person ever to have literally been in a pickle is Horatio Nelson. He died at sea. So the surgeon on board pickled his body in brandy to preserve it for the long trip to England. Two weeks into the journey, gaseous pressure bursts the cask lid, making Nelson rise from the dead. <laughs> Funniest shit I've ever seen. There is only one gender, and it's mine. Y'all can't have it. Hey, Mom says it's my turn on the gender. Yo, lads now available, my dudes. Uh-oh, Julius, looks like you've skipped your Latin class. Hmm, you know what that means. I'm at a work meeting. And this absolute bastard of a man is eating an apple, bottom down core and all. Just fucking crunching away like that's how humans eat apples. Oh, this fucker. 
and how I describe my mood. <clears throat> ah! Welcome to organic chemistry, where questions like, where do you keep your chloroform, are no longer suspicious. Never trust an organic chemist. You ever look at macaroni and cheese and realize you are lucky because no one has tried to eat you? Up here, are you okay? Oh, you know, the usual. I'm actually pretty happy. People make fun of creepy pasta titles being too descriptive, like, I went hiking with my class and it didn't end well. Or something's living in my grandma's basement. Or, I'm never taking a job on Craigslist again. But for someone with zero attention span, descriptive titles like that are a hell of a lot more eye-catching and attention-grabbing than some poetic one or two word title that doesn't even hint at what the story is about. For example, a creepy pasta title. Red curtains? What does that even mean? I'm so bored. Meh. Next title. Every house on my block had a new antenna last night. Me. Immediately riveted needs to know what happened or else I will die. Oh my god. Who put them there? What are they doing there? What did they come from? What? And a new title. The real reason Silly Putty isn't available for prime two-day shipping. Does this not strike instant curiosity into your heart? I was recently told to Google the official bird over Nando Beach. This has improved my quality of life immensely. It is the Goodyear Blimp, adopted in 1983. Beautiful. Don't judge a book by its cover should be updated to don't judge a book by its movie. Meanwhile, the Percy Jackson fandom. <laughs> I overheard these two guys in the hallway of my school. One of them was like, you always look hot, dude. No homo, though. And then five seconds later, he yelled, psych, and then slapped the other dude's ass. Aw, imagine your OTP. Today is going to happen, are you? Is this a threat? Definitely a threat. Today, I learned a new color. Eigengrau is a shade of gray that we all can see, but never knew what it was called. The color is visible when you open your eyes in a pitch black room. All you need to do is find the darkest room in your house, walk in, close your eyes for a minute, open them, and you will see it. Oh, 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 oh you won't trick me, demon! Oh yes, I have a new color in my wine cellar. Come down and take a look. Ah, oh, that's a golden tag right there. Ben and Jerry's is a dangerous ice cream. Capitalizes on the evolutionary human instinct to dig for chunks. And before you know it, Half the pint is gone. Wait, people sleep with their doors closed? Yo, if growing up in really old New England houses has taught me anything, it's that you have to sleep with the doors closed so that the ghosts that roam the rest of your house won't disturb you. I had it up to here with you, Elizabeth. You know, the phrase, no amount of skill will protect you from the sheer luck of a chronic dumbass popped into my head. And if that ain't a big mood trademark, I don't know what is. Dungeons and Dragons, a summary. Okay, for real, kids who grew up with these room plus bathroom combinations don't know how good they had it. I had an entire floor to myself. And then there's this asshole! Today I learned Pepsi was originally called Brad's Drink. Still is. Now I'm going to change my name to get some Pepsi. Now it's my drink. Go! Two words. Stingray skeletons. Oh, my stars and garters! How have we been sleeping on ocean skeletons? We need to awake the ocean skeleton fandom. I mean, what unholy? This is a pufferfish skeleton. This is a butterfly fish skeleton. This is a morefish idol skeleton, aka the sexy fish from Finding Nemo. Yo, check out a mola mola skeleton. This makes me inexpressibly angry. I'm gonna throw a damn chair. Are we ignoring the fact that Goat called Gil sexy? Judge all you want. But the fact remains, you knew exactly which fish I was talking about. You may not like it, but I said sexy fish, and that's where your brain went. We both have to live with our sins. I hate it when you're right. Do you honestly think I enjoy it? I hate it! I used to eat McDonald's every day until I found out what they really used to make their cheeseburgers and chicken nuggets. I can't believe I put all that poison in my body! Okay, but did you die? You think being gay is hard? Try telling people you're only attracted to clowns. You know, narcissism ain't cute, sis. There's literally no possible response I can make to this where I come out a winner. I've never been owned this hard before. I think I legally owe you money now. Why do people ever buy the hard cookies when there are also the soft cookies is my question. I am getting one-word responses to this such as crunch and weapon. Hi, nice meeting you. 
Well, you know what? On second thought. Hey, remember in 2016 when Clown Attack Panic was a thing? And then two years later, I managed to leave no lasting indent in the American psyche? How does that work? The clowns won. This reply terrifies me more than religion or mortality ever could. Hades, Bay, what's wrong? Persephone, drunk, scratching two of Cerberus' heads and weeping. I don't have enough heads! You have successfully collected zero potatoes! Top 10 sentences that make you burst into tears. Ah, oh, lads, not again. I've always thought my life was a tragedy, but now I realize it's a cringe compilation. Did you mean Hamlet? How dare you make my post funnier? Yo, you either get in the voice call and talk about Avatar The Last Airbender, or we cannot vibe, bro. I just failed a student for their midterm grade, and they just sent me an email that just says, bruh, like dead ass. Bruh, respectfully. Can we appreciate the respectfully, though? Sorry, bro, but according to my calculations, you now have to kiss me on the lips. Bro, it's in the math right here. I checked it with the calculator and everything. Kiss me. Stop by the lab. We have hand saunas, Piper Boys, Piper Boy hats, the vibe check, extreme merry-go-round, and evil jello. Do not listen to this post! They will not let you eat the jello! Remember when I was temporarily blind and my mom took me shopping, but I got lost in the parking lot and ended up confused and in a hole and she just took pictures instead of helping me? This was wild from start to finish. Today I learned abandoned footwear has its own Wikipedia article for some reason, which is not nearly as cool as the phenomenon of abandoned staircases being discovered in national forests all around the world, but also not nearly as creepy as all the detached human feet regularly discovered off the coast of Canada. I can't believe Yoshikage Kira was on Family Feud. <laughs> Fuck. Everyone at the farmer's market wishes to know me Connolly. Posts on here are like, everyone at the farmer's market wishes to know me cornerly. 25,000 notes. <laughs> I can't tell if those are written out of spite or if this actually just lined up. Target acquired. Dumbass mode engaged. Goad, I feel like you need to know this, even though you don't know me. But I have a pet earthworm named... And their favorite food is... <laughs> Honestly, you both have the same kind of chaotic energy. Reading this was both punishment and absolution. Muggleborn's accidentally calling Dumbledore Gandalf. Muggleborn's purposely calling Dumbledore Gandalf, and then Dumbledore looks him dead in the eyes and says, Call me that one more time and you shall not pass. This is why I love my fandom, like seriously! Words I use in every sentence. No, stop, dude, literally. Like, seriously, fuck. That's a sentence right there. Forwards and backwards. You can rearrange them in any order and it'll be a sentence. Ladies and gentlemen, the extensive vocabulary of Tumblr. My wife's so cute because we both love animals so much, but her way is very pure and genuine, whereas my family is me holding up my cat. Stinky. No, don't be mean. Stinky bastard man. No. And my mother not looking up from chopping veggies. Naughty boy, brat cat. No. I have the B-movie script memorized. My friends are telling me I should recite a couple of minutes for the talent show. Even better is that I'm a speed talker at around 420 hey, words per minute. So I can get even more of the script done. Hi, what's your talent? Reciting the B-movie script. Uh, excuse me, what? I said reciting the B-movie script. Just, just give them the trophy they want, please have mercy. Some Tumblr jokes are utterly embarrassing to say in public, but today I said to someone, both of you to assume I have dignity. And I won't lie, it was the most powerful I've felt in years. I was in the car with my family, and my mom was talking about how much time she thinks our generation wastes on the internet or whatever. And I was explaining how I use the internet to read and curate most interests and hobbies and expand my social horizons, etc. And she was like, well, fine, if that's how you want to live, you can just waste all your time on the internet if that's what you want, but I beg to differ. And without thinking, I just said, then beg. And the car went silent until we got home. It was the biggest power move I have ever made to date. Tutorial. Brush him. <laughs> Thank you. I learned a lot. You know where the dearest Taco Bell is? We are down the block to the left. July 11th, 2019. I have their time. Does anyone else ever take an earphone out to tell a joke that they just came up with, but then realize that everyone in the room is straight, so won't get it? I may have a problem. I'm stuck in a house with my straight family, and they're moderately supportive, but they don't get the memes. You dig? I was just waiting for my snack crap, but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. This looks like something out of a freaking Sims game. Watch out, Superhero Lock! There's a new trinity in town. 
the Shreyax movie. No, thank you. Today I learned that once your GPS unit realizes it's traveling faster than 1,200 miles per hour at an altitude higher than 60,000 feet, it will automatically shut itself down in fear that it's being used in an international ballistic missile-like application. Me trying to find the Aldi's at 2 a.m. in my 747 commercial airliner. <sighs> this again? The LP should be worded differently, because this makes me feel like the GPS has an AI and can feel fear. Shh, it's all right, the villain said. You're doing beautifully, and I'm so proud of you. But that's enough now. It was cruel of them to make you fight me. You could have never won. It's not your fault. The ancient and powerful villain may have had a calm and gentle face as he spoke, but he was furious. Not at the hero, but the gods for continually sending kids and teenagers to fight their battles. Hey, yo, what's a fucking cheeseburger? We got small, medium, large. What flavor you want? You gender neutral things to call your partner. Significant annoyance. I love capitalizing words that do not need to be capitalized at all, so that you read them in that important voice. You know what's absolutely gorgeous? Brown eyes with a dark ring around the iris. We should romanticize that more. I have blue eyes with a dark ring around the iris. Make your own pose, this one's for brown eyes. Oh no, it's not romantic. It's the last thing people see. Jesus Christ, that got dark fast. Fact of the day, zebra stripes are not always black and white. Sometimes they are black and orange. This is a giraffe. Beds are overrated, just sleep on the couch. Wait, you can cuddle better on beds. Couches are overrated, just sit on the bed. Dude, but like romantically. Babe, but like platonically. Sweetheart, but like rivalry. Bastard, but like partner. And darling, but I can't stand you. Soft rocks. Can you imagine though? You send your enemies a rather large amount of these in various sizes. You have no return address or explanation. They open all the boxes to discover these wondrous pillows. They are reluctant to keep them, but eventually they give in and integrate them into their home like the above pictures. After a few weeks or even months, they've gotten accustomed to having them in their home and routinely relax in large pile of the odd pillows. Until one night, you just take every single one back and replace them with actual rocks of the same dimensions so that when it's time for them to relax and unwind from their day to day, fall into a pile of hard, Unmoving boulders. They break their spine and are paralyzed. You have won. What the fuck is wrong with you? This sounds like a Doctor Who episode. Your package has been delivered. Well, we would never drive in your fucking house on like FedEx official. When you need fast delivery, we come through. I am 20 years old and I still have no idea how girls make hats out of towels after they shower. This is the most innocent yak I've ever seen. This lifted my spirits a little. One time my brother tried to yank away my towel hat and was promptly horrified when I yelled in pain. I didn't know your hair was in there, he cried. <sighs> Boys. Wait, your hair's in the twisty part? Roses are red. His name is Peppy. He runs so fast because he make a big steppy. An orangutan traveling at non-Euclidean speeds erupts from the aether to clothesline you into another dimension. Okay. What's the point of that? Ways to look more angelic. Carry flowers everywhere, pink or gold eyeshadow, wear long ankle dresses, soft humming, and have a pink glowy blush. You could also wield a flaming sword. Or be covered in eyes. Three pairs of wings. A wheel. Or announce your arrival by screaming, FEAR knots wherever you go. I recently heard the phrase, the human version of tangled earphones, and I've honestly felt that describes most people in my social group. That's how I describe my best friend and my least favorite person. Today I went to a coffee shop, fully masked and legal, I'm from the UK, and I witnessed this. Barista, do you want your coffee hot or iced? Dude, well, I'm not gay, so hot. Okay, so that's three fifty. Turns to me, what about you? I'll have an iced latte. And that look on that dude's face. I don't know why or how it made him feel that way, but I've never felt more powerful in my life. FYI, the name Janice is derived from Dionysus. That is all. This... this means... Denny's. Denny's is absolutely the domain of a god of chaos and revelry. Everything suddenly makes so much sense! Okay, didn't 4chan create some shitty anime girl, or was that some sort of horrifying fever dream? Oh, do you mean the shitty anime girl that was supposed to be everything that could be seen as Moe put together into a collective beast known as Moetron? Jesus Christ, you could see the suffering in its eyes! Oh, looks like someone's not practicing social distancing, Uwu. 
guess you'll be infected by the coronavirus. Stay the fuck home, Mahu. This Lord Officer, shoot him! Yo, this is the old age we deserve. Riding a train with a spear, eye patch, and live crow. Today is today. He's just on a quest. That's just Odin. Just another ordinary day on the public transportation. Probably a Wednesday. I get it. Today I learned the Beatles approached Stanley Kubrick to direct a Lord of the Rings movie starring themselves. Tolkien killed the project as a result of his hate for the Beatles. A hate developed after moving three doors down from the Beatles in 1964, who irked him with the indescribable noise from their practice sessions. Ooh. A man who spent hundreds of pages describing trees and meals and worked out the linguistics of multiple fictional languages an entire cosmology of his fictional world called the Beatles' rehearsal sounds indescribable. Today at work, I let someone into a dressing room and they said thanks, and half of me tried to say you're welcome, and the other half tried to say no problem, and I ended up saying your problem. Mood. Somebody's playing a piano, it's midnight here, why? Update, I figured out they're playing, my heart will go on. Update, I just opened my door and yelled, Jack! The music stopped, and I could hear somebody running down the hall above me shouting, Rose! Oh my god! Can I ship it? No, it'll sink. You. When the sun hits the pelican's beak at the right angle, you can see inside of it. He's just trying to find his son. Maybe I should do the Boo Radley challenge where I stay in my house for 25 years and never leave. Ah, oh, this is the greatest literary reference I've ever read. Look at these super awesome opal cubes! Oh, I want to put these in my mouth real bad, but I know they're rocks, so I'm getting pissed off. Judge, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Me. No. What, what do I do? Power move of the century. I looked this up because I wanted to know if you could, and you can technically, but you're instantly guilty of contempt of court and go directly to jail. Ah! Trial speedrun. Proceeds to break a glass bottle. Okay, who wants to fight? Accidentally cuts someone. Oh my god, are you okay? This post is so Canadian. Yeah, but I live in Texas. You're definitely Canadian. I'm not fucking Canadian! One of us. One of us. What's going on? One of us! One of us! One of us! One of 